Dan Marker. They are busy with elasticities. So by now you should know that with demand and supply, if there is a shift in demand or a shift in supply, that will impact prices. If prices changes, what does elasticities do? We need to look at how sensitive is consumers or producers to that change in prices. So you know we have the four types of elasticities, demand, supply, income and cross price elasticity. So we are finished with demand and supply. We still need to look at cost price, but today we're going to look at the income elasticity of demand. With price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply, what we did there is we took the answers. If it was a negative answer, that means it was demand. We took the absolute value and then categorize it on one of the five categories, elastic, inelastic, relative elastic, relative inelastic, or unitary elastic. But with regards to income elasticity and cross price elasticity, you, you need to interpret the answer. So with income elasticity, if you get a negative answer, it means that you are busy with the inferior product. If it's a positive answer, you are working with a normal product. And if you're working with a normal product, you will always have to interpret further. If it is a value between zero and one, it's an essential product. And if it's a value greater than one, it's a luxury product. So your income elasticity, you always calculate it as it's the change in quantity divided by the change in your income. And again, positive, normal product, negative, inferior. Positive, if it's normal, further interpret. Zero to one, essential, greater than one, luxury product. Let's look at an example. Joan receives a 15% salary increase, so 15% salary increase, and her elasticity coefficient is 0, 0,35, minus 0, 0,35. So that's the answer, your elasticity. Calculate how her salary increase will affect the demand for steers and as what type of product she classifies it. So we need to determine what is quantity. So in order to do that, you say 15 multiplied by 0, 0,35 and you get your quantity demanded as minus 5,25%. So what this means is her quantity for steers decreased with 5% when her income increased. And we need to classify what type of product this is. So we need to take the answer of it, the elasticity coefficient to determine that. The answer is negative, so if we have a negative, it means we are busy with inferior products. In the next video, we will look at our last elasticity, and that is the cross price elasticity.